Hey, John Reed, JDOD. We got uh, some of the usual uh, guys. What's up, guys? Good, how are you? Uh, it's been a business suite on Hana kind of a day here in Palo Alto. How delicious. It's funny to see uh, VJ in his uh, SAP uh, uniform in, behind us instead of uh, with us. But uh, He got demoted. Yeah. He's now part of the peanut gallery. Uh, so uh, let's cut to the chase. What what did we learn today? Well, well we learned... Uh, Come on, guys. We've well, done this enough by uh, now. I know. Let me, before we, we, I say anything, what we learned today is I wish I had, you know, the, the way they set up the press conference at the three locations, I wish we would have seen more of the other locations, a little bit more of, you know, what the other locations did there too, right? So Jim on stage talking... And um, maybe, you know, even uh, who else was there? Bill, maybe, or something, you know, we didn't see any of that here. Yeah, like fresh popcorn as well? Well, I, come on. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice to see that too, right? Right. I'd, I'd love to see Bill and Jim's smiley faces, but yeah. um, th- th- we, we didn't. And uh, obviously, breaking news, SAP released its HANA database platform as the platform for all of the business suite applications, including ERP and right. blah, blah, blah. What, uh, but what was actually interesting was the reaction to it. From from the media and and and, the, and so on, and, and that I thought that was fascinating because my concern uh, was that people would just say immediately, "Hey, maybe it's not ready yet. It's only, she's only eighteen months old." But actually, um, the reaction from the media seems to be based on what I read. Wow, this changes everything. So so somebody's got something really right. Well, and congratulations to the engineering folks at the SAP well, to make everything. that happen in such a short period of time. Yeah. I mean, it, we will see the quality when we get our hands on it, but for now, let's assume it, you know, German engineering, it's going to work, or let this case, global engineering, so it's going to work as expected for that. They deserve yeah, but to be right. fair, Harold, I mean, you and I both have been using BW and HANA for, for a year now, and and you know, my in my estimation, it, it got it got really good around the middle of its year time. Right, it's been really it's been, it's been really good for six months, and it's the yeah. same technology. Yeah. All right. So and let's r- let's roll out some of the contrarian views, though. Hmm. Uh, sure. Contrarian view number one: um, Yeah, speed is faster. Um, if I can get a faster speed on my home internet, I'm going to do it. But how? At what cost? At what cost? to the business in terms of both financial cost yeah. and internal it's disruption. Not, it's, is it's is there a me, business case for business suite on home? Well, yes. I, I think, first of all, it's it's evolution and it's moder- modernization. That goes on in hardware, that goes on in software, and, and SAP uses this now to hopefully modernize their whole software stack, not you know, starting from the database, but then moving up. And I hope that at the end we will see a real modern modernized ERP system, right? So th- I just see this as a first step. Uh, if I think of the way m- customers think about a database migration for a start, let's just start there because that's the start point. Um, and I'm, I remember a great quote that somebody told me that worked on the uh, one, a promotion for another competitor's database to migrate SAP. They said, we ran this promotion. They said it was a complete waste of time because the cu- so the customer's perspective, a database is an engine. You're not going to change the engine in your BMW, are you? For a Mercedes engine, nobody does this, no. um, and so so that's the starting point for Hanna, right? Is if you're going to replace the engine in the in the middle of your business suite, it better not just it better actually do something different. Mm-hmm. And um, I thought we didn't hear enough of that today. Um, mm-hmm. We didn't hear enough of. Uh, what does you know? Does the extra engine give you air conditioning that you didn't have before? Right. Or, you know, do you get sat nav and a radio, that kind of stuff. And there's nuances industry by industry in terms of how yeah, that can absolutely. impact. And we didn't hear a lot about that today. That's no, right. We didn't. Um, uh, yeah. I think we have to give them a little time on that yeah. because this is the product being released into what SAP calls ramp up, which is the first typically six months where they yeah. bring customers into it and they figure out what the value cases are. Right. And the, but this is this is the big thing, right, isn't it? Right. You know, what a, what a, a, really, from customers' perspective, how does it increase me, allow me to either increase revenue or, regi- or increase your operating margin? Right, right. And so, now, in, in now, just to add on, now for partners, of course, everybody who um, has built industry solutions on top of the standard suite now we're going to have to get their hands on it and see if it still works and what they have to do to right. optimize it. Right. So there's trust and credibility involved in showing that HANA can support, you know, emission-critical global transactions. But what about 
what about uh, cloud? Uh, you know, that was the other thing is so many companies are thinking in terms of cloud factoring into their purchasing decisions and how I think about software. Is that a weakness for SAP that they didn't cover that today? Is that an issue? Um, I, well, I, I don't think they're ready with it yet, right? Yeah. I mean, so, mm -hmm. so HANA for the cloud is, is for things this big right now. It's up, it's up to 60 gigabytes of data. <coughs> sorry, so 30 gigabytes of data on 60 gigabyte Amazon. And for those small scenarios, it's great. Amazon doesn't scale bigger today, and SAP doesn't license it bigger today. So that's the, that's the small piece. Then you've got the piece in the middle, which is the existing business suite customers. Most of them run on, uh, business suite on-premise today, and I don't think that's going to change. You look at the business suite lifecycle for most customers, it's 15 years. Mm. <laughs> right. These things don't change fast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, you've, you've got this potential for, this, uh, for SAP to build a much larger um, yeah. HANA farm, if you like. Yeah. Dennis, interesting. Dennis gave me the two-minute sign about two minutes ago, so we need to finish. But uh, we did learn a little bit about pricing, basically kind of like parity with other vendors. That's well, we honestly, like we, we, we learned very little about pricing, almost nothing, to be honest. <laughs> right? Well, what did we learn? Well, what, I, I didn't... Don't we yes. know it's going to cost about the same as other databases, well, that's great. right? No, no, that's no, not that, enough that's for you? really helpful. No. What, did you, what do you want to know that you didn't get? Give me a, a, a price list, and then let's a talk. A price list? I mean, okay. I, no, I mean, you know, we all know that pricing is per customer and whatever they're going to. So there will be package deals, and we know that. All right, they, so they, wanna, they don't want to talk about this. That's okay. Um, but we didn't hear pricing. All right, no, so we heard something huge, and just before, just to get that before we wrap, it's the same price as any other database is the answer. Yeah. So that is huge. Come on. All right, well, that's Harold's love letter, love letter to SAP for Sapphire. Thanks for joining us, guys. Talk to you <laughs> Thank later. Thank you, bye.